the, the user wave tables are 96 kilohertz, and they are anti-alias, of course, modern day, right. all that good stuff. You and can, then you can set the bit rate back, though, right? To like the the, the old. Like the old one. Okay, so no, no. The, the first oscillator is PPG. That's an eight bit. Right. That's an eight bit with all the crap that went with it. Right. Including the processing or lack thereof. Because he did it in a very odd way where he, Mr. Palm, um, had it going at 240 kilohertz. We're doing the same thing. Right. But no interpolation and various other things. Right. So all that's in there. All the way out to the analog. Literally, there's 24 analog filters. So I've been the specs of this. My, now, my question would be this. Now, with the user wave tables. The user wave tables, they're modern. But can you can you set them up to be in the old bit rate? Like a, like a, no, oh, you, oh, you mean can you drop them back to 8 bit? Yes. No. But you can mix and match because okay. you've got three oscillators. So this is not tied to like a PPG or a Waldorf would have been. So each oscillator can be its own. Exactly. Okay. okay. So you can have a PPG oscillator in here. You can have a user wave table in right. here. And you can have an analog model in here. Okay. And the analog models would be... So if I go back over to here, Mr. Oberheim was just here talking yeah, to us. Yeah, A normal sawtooth. You got sawtooth on all three of them. Now, now on that, I mean, obviously the, the point of this is not the analog. It's not the main thing, but right. But just but it'll but, do it. Yeah, but, <laughs> uh, but so that's the question, I guess. So too, then, like everybody, they use just like kind of the tricks of the slop and the, you know, the drift and stuff. Does this have a similar type of um, programming to make it a more? Yeah, yeah, you have to do that. So if I look at okay, so here's a PPG factory right. match, right? So it sounds like that, right? right? Now, if you look, if I go to miscellaneous, I've got circuit drift. Okay. Circuit drift is set to 54, not zero on this. And what that's doing is it's randomizing not only the pitch, but the envelope times, the cutoff frequency. Right. Kind of like how, other, yeah. like how the problem works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's similar to that. And I do DSP for Dave. Uh -huh. So, Dave, I can't say Dave. I, I'm sorry about I, that. It no, is, no, but anyway. I, yeah, I, yeah, it's terrible. Um, I can't imagine how you guys feel. But, uh... But yeah, that, what they, this takes it a couple of steps further as far as what it's randomizing under the hood, but it's the same idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me about the FM synthesis uh, capability. FM, I think there's some, gosh, you're going to hit me, you're going to get me on this one, because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where we've got FM patches, but okay. I'm pretty sure there's some FM patches. So does it work basically like a three, um... What it's, yeah, what it's doing is oscillator one can be modulated by oscillator two, oscillator two by three, and oscillator three by one. Right. And it's linear FM. Okay, so yeah. basically like a, like a, a three... Um, three operator. Three operator, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's very similar, because I did for... for the, my first synthesizer for Dave was a Prophet 12. Okay. And late, years later, he let me go back and add linear FM to that. So it's the same same idea. Are you, you, the, one who added, are you the one who added to the Pro 2 as well? Yes. Thank you yeah. very much. Yes. No let me shake your hand over that, because I really appreciate that. I time. Love, well, my favorite... you guys went back and did it. My favorite synth... <laughs> of his up, up until the recent ones was the Pro 2. Oh, mine too. Yeah. Mine yeah. too. Mine yeah. too. Although the Pro 3 has kind of replaced it for me a bit. Well, the Pro, so the Pro 3, you know, the oper, uh, oscillator 3 position in the Pro 3? Yeah. So you've got two analogs in the Pro 3, and then the third oscillator is a wavetable oscillator. Right. That's an abbreviated version of what you've got here. Okay. That, uh, that, that was one that I'll remember the rest of my life, arguing with Dave for an hour and a half on the phone while I was on vacation in Tennessee, trying to convince him to make the third oscillator a wavetable, and he okay. finally did. So really, that's us yeah. based on this. So I, now, I, the, the um, effects sound like they're very similar to the Pro 3 as well, and it's like it has a lot yes, of the same. Yes, It's got, yeah, so so the so some of these effects I did all the way back when I was at DigiDesign. Some of them are more recent. Um, like the but the phaser in there that is based on Mr. Oberheim's phaser. Um, but then you've got an echoplex in here. And I like that, recent. yeah. And that echoplex, this is the only one I've got where I did the whole model. So if I go here to the echoplex, you will see, let me see, find the... the, the Okay, so there we go, Echoplex. So the Echoplex got the normal time feedback and what, but then it's got wow and flutter, literally nice. the, the randomization. And nice. then if you go to extra, it's also got head alignment because people would bend the sure, head sure, sure. on the Echoplex. And then it's got record levels. So you, you can, can kind of sort the tape. It, yeah. yep. And then you've got tape hiss on or off. Nice. So it's, yeah. so it's quite a nice effect there. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm and very that, interested to hear that one. And that was one that I had done way back when as a side model for when Chris Townsend and I did the 11. Um, plug-in back at uh, plug-in, excuse me, plug-in and, and hardware device back at DigiDesign. Okay. So the, the amp modeling. 
sure. Yeah, and sure. we did a bunch of pedals as well. And now, okay, now the one more question. Um, I might have a few more. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, no, no, I'm, I want to get on the list of uh, the, uh, the filters, now this is a digital filter, the state this, variable? The state variable is a digital filter. Right. I'm very proud of that because it'll go all the way to Nyquist frequency without deviating okay. from where it should be for the cutoff. And uh, we fooled quite a bit of people so that they're thinking it's analog. And then this goes into a um, SSI 2140. So that's a that's the same low-pass filter, analog low-pass filter that's in the Prophet 5. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. And there's 24 of those suckers underneath the hood here. Now, is this one cut? This is obviously based on an Oberheim type of design. Yeah, it's, an S it's a state variable filter, so right. it would be very similar to what Tom would have in his SEM. Okay, like yeah. actually this out. Yeah. 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 Or say that again, like the Pro 3. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Except actually, over. yeah, there is one on the Pro 3, right. too. Yes. Except I believe that one. I forgot about yeah. that. Okay, yes. yeah. And these run in parallel? They run in series. So you're hitting this guy first, and then you're hitting this guy out the door. Is it always going through the series signal path, or can you disable one? We can, di yeah, you can disable one or the I other. guess you just open it up. But yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, when you're, because this one's digital, when the cutoff is 127, you are hard bypass. Right, right. It's not sure. hitting it's it just at all. Open. Yeah, yeah. Full open. So. Well, it's not just that it's full open, I'm not even calling it. Okay, yeah. it actually shuts yeah. off. Yeah, I yeah. Do. Interesting. Um, so, modulation. Oh my god, you got a ton of it. You got four LFOs. You've got two additional ADSR envelopes. I like that, yeah. Thank you. You can assign the wavetable to, to be a modulator. And then you've got all of your normal mod sources here. So you've got 16 slots. And to back up real quickly, these have envelopes of themselves, don't they? They have almost like a... Yeah, each one of these has got their own wave envelope. So let me step back. Yeah. So if I'm... Uh, here. Here, hold on. Let me, let me get a pad so it's got it. Okay, so if I'm on this guy, I'm gonna come over here. All three of the oscillators are doing the same thing for this particular patch, okay. right? And if I go here, you can see what they're doing. They're starting about 20 into the wavetable of 64, and they're going up, down, up, down, and back. And then it loops. It loops back to the beginning and goes again. Okay. And can the looping is right here. Can you make it one um, shot as well? Is it always? Yeah. One, no, no. Okay. You can make it one shot if you want. There you go. Now it's one shot. Okay. So. Kind of uh, reminds me of the tracking generator on the old Matrix. I'm sorry, say again? The tracking generators on the old Matrix. Are we familiar with those? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of like that, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So you can go either way you want. But the point here is there's one for each oscillator, and they're independent of each other. That's insane. So you could have each oscillator, you could have this oscillator doing this, we could have the next oscillator doing, I don't know, let's just do something. There, it starts lower, and it gets, uh, it goes right here, and it does, it's longer. So okay. that's an oscillator two, and an oscillator three can do its own thing again. This is the speed it's going through the wave table, basically. That's the speed it's going through okay. the wave table. So and accelerate, the accelerate it. Yep, yep. Okay. So now we've got the three oscillators, and they're all doing their own thing. Crazy. And then you can stack four sound that nice as well, yeah. all doing that type of stuff before we can get, we can get in a modulation meter. Exactly. And same. what you're hearing here are two sounds that are identical. It's the same patch twice. I've just got them assigned a hard left and hard right. Right. So, and since it's got 24 voices, even when you do stuff like this, you're still a 12 voice synthesizer. Right. You can get all the way out to four stack, and you're still a six voice synthesizer. That's what I'm saying. Stacking four with that type of modulation. Yeah. Incredible. It's, it's, yeah. So we'll look at the matrix. You're going to show me the oh, matrix. Yeah, the, the mod matrix is here. So you've got I'm 16. I'm not running ragged here. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's fine. you got 16 uh, assignable slots, right? Right. So these are all, these can be whatever you want. Like, you know, you, you see here's all your choices. I think we've got 30 or some odd of them okay. um, that you for can the assign. Sources, yeah. yeah, for the, the, the destination to go all the way out. It is after touch, mono after touch, okay. but it'll accept from an input. Um, uh, Poly after touch. Wow. Poly after touch is, is, is available on it as well. Okay. And then, so we've got the 16 assignable sources, then you go to the four fixed LFOs, and then you go to the two envelopes, like I said, that are spares, then you go to all the wave envelopes, the three wave envelopes can be assigned. Right. Then you've got the mod wheel itself, and the velocity, and the pressure. Right. So all of that stuff is assignable. Looks very similar, and the mouth's right here on the, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, very nice. So if we did something crazy with this one. Here, let me edit both at the same time. Okay. Now we're going to edit both, both at the same time. And we'll do, I don't know, we'll do LFO1. And we'll tell it it's going to go to all frequency. We're going to turn it way up. Right. And this should make it wobble really bad. Unless I'm crazy. Bad. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Even with all this noise, I can tell it sounds great. Yeah, there you go. Here, that's kicking in. Yeah. That's nice. Well, I won't bug you about the sequencer and stuff. I, I, the I think sequencer's four-part multi-cam. Well, here, I will show you one thing <laughs> on the sequencer. This is really cool. I love this song, and it's, only this guy would have known it. It's an old New Wave band from the, six, uh, from the 80s. So, this is a patch where he's got four parts, even though they're not all lit right now. Right. He's got four parts going at once. I'm going to hit go. Okay. parts at once, and if I, if I hit here, here's our, here's our volume. Free part. Okay, now you see a little mix it. I mean, it's almost a work safe, it's like, it's work safe level, basically, like, yeah. that you have here. I mean, it's much more than that, but it'll do it. Right, so it's, it's like, it's like a work safe inside of it. Yeah. Normal synthesizer. There's your bass. And of course, it has motion sequencing, and, you know, and, Parameter sequencing. And yeah. Incredible what you built here. So, yeah, there you go. That's an example of a four part multi camera patch that is sequenced. Right. And the sequencing is pattern based and it's um, you quantize, it's real time. It's pattern based, right. it's got swing, it's got quantize. And you can string them together Wonderful. as a single uh, song, just like you know the drum machine. Right. Yeah. The old way. Yes. yes. Nice. I appreciate that. Yeah. And it's not the song mode, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's got song mode. We love this. And this is a um, Fatar keyboard. It's a Fatar keyboard. Fatar. Yeah. It feels great. I have a couple of people on there. And uh, any plans for a desktop on this, or is this fully? There's not going to be a desktop. I'm going to say that now, but I don't know because we're 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 on a shoestring, right? We're right, straight, yeah. So um, no, there's not plans. And having worked for Dave, um, historically, in spite of the fact that he says they want a module, then they don't sell them. Right. So, no, I'm not yeah. really into the model. I like I like the fact that this is just what you see is what you get. This reminds me of. But even if we did it, I would I would want to like just cut the keys off. You gotta have all these controls. No, I know, I know. What you can have a desktop like yeah. three feet long. Yeah. How many knobs are on this actually? Do you know the number? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. How many knobs are there? Oh, how many knobs? There are. I think there's 40 pots and I think there's 38 encoders. Okay. So there's 78, something like that. It just looks like everything is just right there. And I couldn't tell you how many buttons, but you got a million of them. Right. Well, the nice thing is the screen's real center there, and even you have to get to it. We've got a screen real, saver real, on it. Real clear, yeah. real clear. All right. So the screen is what you get in a, um, basically in your cell phone. It's a cell phone screen. Is it a touch screen? It is touch, but we didn't do the touch. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need pe pe uh, people's pizza hands all over it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> So. Tell me your name again, I'm so sorry. Oh, Bob Coover. Okay, Bob Coover thank you.